Hey everyone, welcome back to the Underwire Adventure of the Sunk Temple. I have filled out everyone's Mirage Board a little bit because I had so much SP accumulating, but I digress. We got a uh, Murfkin, level 45, might as well enter it and see what we got going on here because, let's be honest, it's here, I might as well kill it. What go. the heck is that? What the heck is all this? New Mirages? Well, I can't get any of you, so I'm just gonna Libra everything that we got going on here. We got a uh, Mind Flare, usually a bad enemy when it comes to the Final Fantasy universe, because they do a lot of status inflictions. Not something I'd really want to run into, but, you know, I digress. Let's see. Uh, can, can we also look? No, we can't. We got Squid Drakes, and I don't really know what we got going on here. Uh, Thunderbolt. This is it. Well, it looks like all these guys are weak against that. Ban oh, man. Light attacks, dark attacks. Well, uh, we're pretty resistant. Uh, but Squid Drakes have light attacks. That's not something that I really want to run into. Bio's not pretty. Bio's not a pretty thing to run into. Dark. Uh, still pretty resistant. That's good. Uh, let's see. So, as you expect, this could be a little painful. This could be a bit painful, but I got an idea. Okay. It involves... It involves a champion. Let's see, reflect magic back. Okay, there you go, you got that. Uh, they are weak against fire. Kind of unusual considering they're, you know, squid-like. Water... Water-esque. But I guess, for my money, you got the Mind Flayers, which are a bit more water-like, more squid-like, if you will. Uh, very sea creature-esque. There we go. So reflect magic and reflect magic. You got it? That's how you imprison these guys. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to just go with the champion. Yeah, since water's not really good against these guys, I mean, I might as well, might as well use someone who can handle a lot of these things. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I have anything that can really do that except Balthier. Oh, well. I'll just have to rely on Celeste. In hindsight, it would have been a better choice to use the Thunderbolt. Also, they got the Mind Blast. Not a good thing to run into. They got the Bio. They like to inflict a lot of status effects. It's not good. Also, Rain is confused. Oh, but she hit a target. That's good. Uh, for my money, let's get a Thunderbolt going in on this. Oh, wow, that that was that was favorable. We only got three left. Mind blast is pretty terrible to have inflicted upon you. I mean, look at all these statuses we got going on. It's like we've been bad breath, which is a Marlboro thing. But I, I I digress. You know, we we keep using the thunderbolt. It's our saving grace in this whole entire battle. See, we only got one left. What are the chances this is gonna go really bad? Uh, I think I got my answer. So, that said, um, you might be wondering, what do I do? And the answer is, we're just gonna attempt to attack it and miss. Yes, that's right, attack it and miss. We got Oblivion, which is pretty much silence casted on us. We're in a pretty bad shape. If I was going to go on about the whole entire situation by on, I mean, if I was going to continue on, I would consider using an elixir or a mega elixir. Uh, but I really don't want to use one. You see, the thing about it is it removes all status elements. Uh, and I really, really would like to have that all good, at least on one guy. And besides, Lon is put to sleep, so might as well take care of this quick, fast, and in a hurry. Predictable. So that was the Murfkin for the Sunken Temple. Not a fun experience, but I digress. 
pretty bearable if you're over leveled for it and pretty bearable if you're if you know what to do uh not a bad mirage to have unfortunately whenever it comes to sass effects and my own luck i seem to get the short stick it seems to be more valuable in the enemy hands in my own hands well i never quite get what i want to happen which is a shit ton of status effects don't really have that kind of luck but i digress because i'm just gonna move on with the plot i'm just gonna move on i'm gonna give this gimme golem the exact thing that he needs the charm chime yeah so now that i've progressed the game further because i mean i have those capabilities I'm just gonna go to the save thing, get my health and everything back, get into a random battle that's completely unneeded. I was doing so well, man, and you ruined the whole ambiance. And there we go with more levels. It's beautiful. Beautiful. I guess there's the silver lining if there's ever one to be found. Oh man. So, moving on and progressing the plots, we're, uh, cutscene. Huh? <laughs> Foul Tonberries. First they go and steal our precious key. Now they have the utter gall to summon a king. What fiends. They must be desperate to take this realm away from me. Who goes there? Huh? Oh? Not just a human, but a lady giant? How very unusual! Come now! Lady giant simply must! Tell me the latest land news! Serene, what's going on? Ah! Huh? Is she the queen we're- no! <gasps> huh? Stay away! I despise men! Ah! Stupid man thing! Maybe it's not men she hates. Maybe it's just Lauren. Me? What I do? Uh, if you're the one to punish the lawn, you can have him. Wait, you're giving me away? Uh-oh. She doesn't like men. She definitely hates me. I guess Gildan will have to save the day. Full on bro force right here, right now. I guess I'll have to put my hand into the whole battle. Um. As Mega Mirage form, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you done fucked up now! Water? Would you think water's gonna hurt me? Not quite. Sweet breath? Oh, she put me to sleep. Not like it helps you much, because you have to attack me, so... Uh, yeah, turns out that all your efforts are in vain, because I got... <laughs> Don't fuck with me, alright? Otherwise you get the giant sword and look what happens to you now. That wasn't so bad. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't think I was going to be that broken. Uh, I love it, though. Also, we got the Quattro Queen at Memento. Uh, that's a good thing for Piplop. In fact, I might take advantage of that in the next area. Who knows? I just, I don't know, wrecked a three-year-old's birthday party. Well, cheer up. At least, now, we can go home whenever we want to. But we need to track the down that key. Otherwise, why did we come to here? That's true. But we know where it is. Remember, the queen said that the Tomberry stole the key. Aha! So it is down here in the temple. Somewhere. 
Seems that way. Oh man, we got the Quattro Ruby. Let's track down those Tomberries and hope they still have it. I mean, uh, yeah, it's it's good that we got the Quattro Ruby. We can be millionaires, except uh, we kind of need it to get out of here. On the other hand, you know, you know what we gotta do? We gotta go up against Spider Mikey's kin, and that's it's a little weird now that I think about it, because you know we got Spider Mikey. He's totally in his baby Tomberry form, so uh, nothing new that we haven't faced. Is that the queen? Oh, cool. That thing just opened. Do you think she's going after those Tonberries she mentioned? We'd better detail her! Well, I mean, uh, oh, hey. Jaws! I, I guess I'm just gonna ride on Jaws as we make our way. Well, 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 I'm getting dizzy! I lost all the sense of direction! No, you haven't. Come on. Hey, sis. Hey, what? I... I don't think I'm moving forward anymore. Of course you're not moving forward. You're moving... straight down. I knew it! Help me, sis! You're not falling, dummy. Oh, okay. Dark Chasm Tunnel, I got it. We're going into a crevice or something. This place is starting to look less and less like a temple. Is it still a manse? Maybe we've the fallen into a manse hole. Yes, that must be it. Gross. Uh, also, it looks like the bottom of an ocean, so we're going to the deep, deep, dark depths. Let's make this good. Dude, also, we got Tom Berries and Baby Tom Berries. Uh, baby Tom Berries are especially adorable. Too bad I already have Spider Mikey here to help wreck y'all, so uh, there's not much else I can go about this. Uh, I would tell you how to imprison, but honestly, there's not much to do. Although, allow me to try a little bit of an experiment. A little bit of an experiment, as in, allow me to, yeah, there we go, use a physical attack, and then, uh, deal a lot of damage at once to create a prison tunity. So, you see, if you use a lever on a stack, you can actually individually check each mirage, but you do have to scroll over by cycling characters. And that's how you figure out the stacks in each mirage individually. There you go. Now you know how to do. But all that said, we're just going to keep wailing on everything that we got going on because, you know, I don't get, I don't need these guys. I already have Spider Mikey. His kin are stupid anyways. They got little dolphin tails and a lantern and a knife and, um, actually they're pretty badass, I'm not going to lie. Also, they get pretty awesome. I haven't shown you all there is to Spider Mikey, uh, but I've shown you a lot. It's pretty legit, nonetheless. All that said, uh, there's a treasure chest all the way down here. An elixir. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love it. Oh, man. Uh, anyway, swimming at the bottom of the ocean, there's more to be had, like... Oh, Let's man. This good. New Mirage. I could have gotten this thing. Uh, I, I swear to God, it was on my list of things that was totally possible to run into uh didn't happen but i digress let's get some lever action okay. so you know what we got going on there it's not a sandworm it's a sea worm uh anyways scrolling the correct direction we don't need that don't need that but we do need to reduce the mirage's hp to create that sort of prism opportunity it looks pretty cool but it doesn't evolve into anything it evolves into a sandworm and that's pretty much all you need to know when it comes to trying to trying to do the whole sandworm mirage capabilities. I need to knock it over. If I can imprison it, I will because this is your this is basically your only chance to get this type of mirage, either in the desert or in the sea. So, li little thing to note right here and now. Just if you want it, you might as well get it. Well, you still can. And I mean, I, I kind of want to, I kind of want to complete my little, uh, 
plethoris, my little plethora of mirages, just complete that whole entire dictionary book thing that has all of them. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of these guys just to ease the whole annoyance of having to do that. So now that I've cleared that, I can focus on this guy. Uh, I will probably need to cure him so I don't immediately wreck him. So if you're if you're worried about there. killing a mirage, just just do that, and you're pretty good to go. Oh man, whirlpool. So yeah, this guy he can't really do much to me, but I can totally imprison him. I won't have much of a chance to get him, like I said. So if so sometimes I might have to break my rule, but I'm not going to be using it. I'm still going with the same rules. It's just to try to fill out the whole entire Pokedex that I got going on with the Mirages. Because, I mean, let's be honest. I want to fill out all that I can. I want all the capabilities. I got to collect what I can when I can. So, you know, if you, if you guys want to know what this thing is, the little definition, I always find those interesting. I might have a video dedicated to all that later on at the end of this LP, but otherwise, uh, yeah, that's really all you need to do, and I'm just gonna put that into my little box thing that I got going on. Leaving that with Seraphie. Don't need it in my team or anything. Anyways... Uh, I think, for all intents and purposes, I might grind up a little bit, but I'm going to save. Now I'm going to end it off here. You guys have a fantastic day as I end it under the sea.